Hello everyone, welcome to Grow and Know the Garden at Royal Oaks and Orchard. Today, I'm going to be weeding my garden bit here. So I'm about to actually start planting. This footage was actually taken a bit a, a while ago. I've planted everything in this bed, but uh, I'm just weeding here and I'm just taking all these weeds out and putting them into this little small bowl because the thing is weeds are like the perfect material you can use to compost. So the best way that I know is to hand pick them. I mean, you could use chemicals, but we're trying to do organic gardening. And the thing is that the chemicals actually won't hurt your plants or anything. They, all they'll do is basically hurt the soil, which basically kind of ruins the uh, sustainability. So that's the big concern about chemicals. Not that the plant will get hurt or you will get hurt for the most part. It's just that the soil will get hurt. And that means that the soil becomes infertile or not able to grow plants in so now i'm just weeding them there are a lot of weeds here and you, you just these kind of weeds you just let them stay like one day and they're already all over the place so i'm just still picking them have my assistant here I mean, you could just see how packed this bed is oh especially back there oh boy it's gonna take a lot of time i'll go into my arsenal see what i have uh, oh, this, this is a Porter Cable 1500 watt heat gun. It has two uh, settings, which is like a high speed and low speed. And it has a temperature dial, so you can adjust the temperature. And I've heard of weed torches, which this is about the same price as a weed torch, but it's more useful because it's electric and it just it's useful for a lot of things we've actually fixed a punctured bicycle tire with it and we have um you use this for our drip irrigation system especially flex tube so it's very useful more useful than a weed torch and we already have this lying around so we decided to use it and i'll leave a link in the description below so what you can see is it basically just burns the plants so you can see it just shrinks them it basically just burns them and they're basically composting on the spot, onto the bed. Instead of taking them, putting it to your compost pile or compost bin, you're composting them here on the bed. So you can see some of these weeds, this is a bit hard to see in that little circle, but there's that grass weed that I pulled out earlier, and it's really, really hard to get rid of. So here's like kind of a slow motion shot of the, <clears throat> sorry about that, of the weeds. You can kind of see that um, it's a bit hard to see the actual kind of shrinking of the weeds in slow motion, but you can see uh, once I speed it up that it does kind of shrink. So yeah, you can see there's also the grass weed to the left, and it's it was it was showing better before, but now it kind of went off view. So, anyways, here's the bed after just 15 minutes. You can see, remember how it was, and now look at it. It's all basically gone. It's just like uh, dried up kind of plants. This is a quite actually effective way to get rid of weeds, and it's one of the best ways along with pulling it out but here you don't miss the roots or anything you just burn it so this is how it was and this is how it is now you can see we have put our beans in but it is a big difference and i think this will be good so here it is three days later and you can see that it's basically brown leaves on the ground so now it's basically composted of course there are a few clusters you can see to your left again that one little cluster did not um, get hit and that grass weed you can see that's the one that's really hard to get rid of it does not seem to work for this kind of heat gun method but we are trying to get rid of it and the best way for that is just to pull it out so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this is grown or reminding you to grow young and grow old thank you for watching